Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's School, where Cupboard College is now officially a small school. Look at that up there, we've reached the heady, heady heights of school level 3, which is all very wonderful, and also equally as wonderful as that is the huge amount of money that we've got over here. Look at that, just over 31,500 monies. That's a lot of money compared to what we've had recently, so I think we should put some of that money to good use and build a few things that will generate money. Let's spend some money to make some money. I like the sound of that. And I think first up, we should get a shop. Let's get a little school shop in somewhere because we've had the research to do that for ages, but we've just not got one down because of a lack of money. So I think we get a little school shop in and I think we did discuss at one point putting it over here. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if it has a minimum size or anything. So let's go and find out, shall we? So go to facility. Where is the school shop? School shop is not on there. It's, uh, there it is, school store, okay. So it's 30 per square, a buttery hatch, where snacks, stationaries, and toys are sold within the school. What's a buttery hatch? <laughs> I don't know what that means. A buttery hatch, that sounds like a cake. It sounds like a thing they should be baking on the Great British Bake Off. You know, next up on your challenge, you've got to bake 30 buttery hatches, which are very delicious and buttery. Um, okay, I don't know what a buttery hatch is. Um, but can we put one of these in? So a minimum size of nine squares. Oh, that's quite tiny. That's quite tiny. So can we put it over here? I think that would be quite a good place for it. So can it sort of fit over there? That's going to be 20 squares. So more than double what it's supposed to be, the minimum size anyway. So pop that into there. I quite like that. Uh, right, so we've got to put a door down. Now what else do we have? So we've got the store window. Oh, I do kind of vaguely remember this from the um, from the demo. So I think the door here is where the employee goes in and out of the shop and then they kind of attend the students via that window there. So the kids don't go into the shop itself. They kind of line up and ask for things and then the person who runs the shop poodles about inside and grabs things, takes them back to the window and then sells them on to the kids. I think that's how it works. Okay, so put the door... Um, hang on, where do you want the kids to queue up? I think maybe the kids should be over here. If they form a little kind of orderly queue over this part, we put the door just there and the hatch over there. That would make sense. I think if we put the hatch here, it's in a bit of a weird place and it's going to kind of clog up this bit of the school. So how about then? Yeah, we put the door there and then we need the hatch. Okay, so put the hatch, I think at that end. So put the hatch, yeah, it's got to go like that. So put that there. Um, that does look very exciting. There's some bags of crisps by the look of it and some kind of cakey things like pastries or something. That's quite exciting. Um, they look, I don't know what they are. Are they empty shelves? I'm not quite sure. But okay, so that is now, is that functional? Uh, oh no, a bakery display shelf. Oh, okay. So a thousand monies to put one of these in. Um, hang on. So where do we put that? A bakery display shelf. What else have we got? Stationary display shelf, small product display shelf, and a snack display shelf. Okay. All together, hang on. That's 3,000 monies for a shelf with snacks on it. How expensive are the snacks? Or how expensive is the shelf? Crikey's. Okay. Um, however, that does provide plus 30 kind of, you know, facility prettification points. That's another 10. That's 10. That's 10. And it provides plus five food as well. So that helps out kind of you know, provide food everywhere else. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to put all of these in because we have got the money. We do need to keep a little bit of money aside because we are sending Chappie, the head of Bee House, um, over to train up a bit, aren't we? To the uh, place out in the middle of nowhere. He's going to try and up his kind of proficiency score, whatever it's called. So we do need to keep a little bit of money aside for that. But um, okay. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I mean, I kind of feel it's a bit boring lining everything up across the back wall. Why don't we put, if the um, person working here is going to stand around there, why don't we put uh, that there? That's okay. And then the stationary display shelf can go there. And then the small products, what was that? Small goods thing? Small product display shelf sells educational toys that will both entertain and increase a student's capabilities. Okay. Okay, that's worth doing. So put that in like that and then have the snack display shelf in. Are all these things facing the wrong way round? 
I kind of feel... Hang on. If we've had to turn the snack shelf round, I kind of feel like we have to turn everything else around. Right, that's gone to a level 2 building, which is good. So now the product price is 115%, so we make a little bit more money off that, which is wonderful. Um, okay, can we can we turn that round? Can we turn these round? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be the other way around. Hang on a minute. Just rotate toward where the students are looking in, so they can look through there. In fact, it would make sense to kind of put things like that, wouldn't it? I don't really get why we're sort of showing these things off. If the students can't see in, that seems a bit weird. Um, how about we have a big window. Can we have a big window right there to let some light in? And also, we might actually need a light in here. That's a good point. Um, a hanging lamp that provides plus six light and also plus eight, uh, plus eight kind of aesthetics. It looks quite nice. Fluorescent lighting provides decent lighting, but it's not very pretty. That's a street lamp. That's a street light. Um, okay, how about in here we have a few hanging lamps? That might be quite nice. We'll have one there as you come in the room. So on the right hand side. And then we'll have one. Uh, I mean, if we could have one over there, that would help out quite a bit. So there we go. I quite like that. So that room is now well lit. That's wonderful. Um, I think, is it worth putting any more decor down? We have spent quite a lot of money on that room. Can we just put a lovely picture on the wall? Just pop a nice picture on the wall just there. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it pretty? And there is a bit of space over there. Could we just put a, uh, a little table down? Could we just put a tiny table over there in the corner just to make it look good? Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. That's all good. So, okay, that. Sale. Uh, oh, ha well, hang on. What's happening? Mizzelin, hang on. Insufficient management proficiency. At present, the management cap uh, capacity of the headmaster's office is not enough to build more new facilities, so there is no way to continue to expand the size of the academic park. Oh, we're in academic park now, are we? la di da Right, okay. So this has possibly pushed us over our kind of admin limit. Okay, we can work on that. We can try and sort of figure something out. Hang on. What do we want to sell? Uh, oh, here we go. We get to choose things we'd like to sell. I mean, a baguette. That would make sense. A baguette, that is harder than bricks. Do not use it to hit others. Okay. <laughs> right, so that's going to come from the bakery display shelf. I think we should sell an item of food or some spicy snacks. That's just a food thing. So fullness increased. But we are going to, at some point, when we get a little bit more money, and if we save up and stop spending it all in one big go, we are going to try and get a cafeteria in which should sort out hunger. So maybe this can be more of a sort of a treats thing. So spicy snacks, a tasty treat that appeals to people of all ages. When shared with others, it can strengthen their relationship. Oh, marvellous. Yeah, we'll have that. That sounds good. 28 monies for a spicy snack. Good grief. Um, a skipping rope, entertainment increased. Kite, entertainment increased. Bug net, entertainment increased. Okay, um, how about a skipping rope, and a, and a bug net. How about those things? That could be quite fun, couldn't it? So you can do some skipping. How about a bug? Is that a chance of obtaining beetles? Is that good? Do we want them to do that? Yeah, kites are very... So kites are quite specific to, I would say, sort of uh, the time of year. So it says uh, the source of joy in spring. So when it's breezy and fresh out, it's going to be okay. But it's not really going to be... You're not going to use a kite in winter, I don't suppose. Or possibly not in sort of, I don't know, maybe we'd use it in autumn, I don't know. But a bug net, I like the idea. Let's get a bug net in there. They're also 28 monies, good grief. Right, done. Okay, so are we still paused? Yes, we are. We do need to get a person to work in there, of course. Uh, just check that, though, nice and quick. Uh, average aesthetics, it's well lit, just right in terms of size. Unstaffed right now. And it's got plenty of extra bits and bobs in. Okay, so let's go and find a new person to go and work in the shop. Um, okay, hang on a minute. So uh, what have we got? 13 people. Right, let's go and find a person. So teacher recruitment, somebody who's good at management. Um, how about... Every oh, hang on a minute. These are all really good. Our teachers are all getting really good now. And I kind of feel like they shouldn't be working in a shop. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Um, thingamabob, you, Laura Hall, can you work in the shop? You've got management 15. You could work in the shop. I think that'd be quite good. Um, you're average at it, but that's okay. Laura Hall's finally got a job. She's no longer just roaming the halls, you know, telling people off. She actually works in the shop. 
Okay. Right. That's very exciting. I like that. That's good. That's wonderful. Um, over here is a bit of a mess. Hang on. We do need to put round here, I think. Um, go to furniture. We need to put a little kind of cleaning thing down. That'll help out quite a bit. And also, even though it does cost a bajillion monies for some reason, we will put down some very expensive buckets over there. Just in case there is a fire around here, that might help out a little bit. So there we go. That's that sorted. Um, okay. So that's one thing done. That's one of our important things done. I think let's get time ticking on a bit, shall we? Or... Do we recruit? Hang on, what teachers do we have? Science teacher. There's some very good science teachers now. Some really good. Why can't we recruit you? Oh, because you need a bicycle shed. Oh, oh, they're really good at research. And they've got such a massive potential. Harold Murphy, though, they could be quite good to just get around. They could be quite good to just have here um, because they're good at science. And, yeah, we've not got... Hang on. How many science teachers do we have that are actually teaching science and that aren't in research? Hang on. So, we've got Ernest White is a science teacher, but you work in the food tent. Okay, so not you. Betty Cupboard is a headmaster. You can go and teach science. Oliver Curie is a... Res no, you're a science... Oh, no, you are in research room. So, we've got one. Uh, you're a researcher. You're a researcher. Uh, two. We've got two science teachers. Is that it? I think we've got, yeah, one, two, three, four in research, haven't we? You're in the food tent, so only two science teachers. That We've got quite a lot of humanities people, although they don't all obviously work in humanities because you work in the uh, shop now, but you're in a class, you're in a class, your bee house office, and you're idle, but you can go and teach in a class if you want to. Um, Yeah, I think maybe we get another science teacher in. That might be quite a good idea. Let's get Harold Murphy in. Because we can get you in. And do you know what, Harold? You're pretty good. You are not too shabby at all. So let's recruit you. Uh, you can come in and just do some science. I notice on here, going back to there, we can build... And we can't now because we've run out of points. But we can build specific things. We can build, say, a biology lab. A specialised science lab required to teach biology. And we can build a humanities classroom specifically for teaching humanities. Now, that's interesting because do the kids, when they have humanities scheduled, go to that particular classroom? I'm not entirely sure. So I think what must happen is, hang on, if we go to here, they're going to learn the basic stuff first. They're going to learn that easy stuff first. So they'll go, yeah, okay, literature 101, that's all fine because it's yeah, the first year class. But when they go up to the fancy stuff, does that mean they then go to the different classrooms? That I do not know. I am not entirely sure. Okay, let's take a look at the management thing instead. Right, the headmaster's office is on 70 out of 70. It cannot cope with anything else at all. B house office is also a bit full. So we are at maximum capacity. We can't cope with anything else right now. We are struggling a little bit. Um, however, we could potentially, if we wanted to, create, say, another office we could have another management office that just looks at doesn't look after classrooms it looks after kind of facilities we could have the facilities office so we could say that looks after the the um things over here it looks after the loos and it looks after the food tent and the cafeteria and the staff room so headmaster doesn't have to do all that they can look after a little bit they can look after researchers and everything else but maybe they don't look after necessarily everything is that worth doing? Create another little kind of management room? And they could just deal with bits and bobs. But then, um, how does that work exactly? How does that work? I don't quite... Wasn't there a thing that said we can't split things up? Was, yeah, didn't it say something like they have to all be assigned to the same thing? But it seems to work okay. So the people from that class go to, say, you know, that playground and use those toilets. So I think that's fine. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we have to do. Okay, right. Get time ticking on. Let's get time moving on. Uh, what are we researching right now? Remind me. Oh, we're doing the um, we're doing the stuff, aren't we? We're doing the uh, sort of uh, music and sports stuff. Just so eventually, when we do get other students in who would like to learn those different topics, we can teach the stuff straight away without having to research it and unlock it in a panic. Okay. Ah. Right. Okay. The weather is turning cold. It's so hard to be passionate when teaching or studying in winter. 
How I long to stay in a warm room. Okay, subtle. So things are a bit chilly, are they? Um, it's currently 24.8 degrees. I mean, in different parts of the world would see that differently, but I would say that's really warm. <laughs> I would say that's very hot. Uh, there's no complaints about that. We'll keep an eye on that. Oh, hang on. It's tumbling. Okay, right. Now the temperature's coming down. Um, a new semester has begun. How about a speech? It's a semester. Okay, there we go. Confirmation. It's a semester. It's not a term or a year or a grade or whatever. It's a semester. Okay. How about a speech? Yes, I like doing the speeches. These are fun. Oh, okay. There's a tunnel over there. I've never noticed that. Let's welcome our headmaster. Yay. Hello, everybody. Yep, there we are. It's us again. Okay, the audience feels calm. The atmosphere is plus five. Right, no one seems interested. We're gonna do we're gonna do what we do before because this works quite well. We like it's a friendly, happy, welcoming school. Friendly opening. Welcome back to another promising semester. Sure thing. Okay, atmosphere goes up. Talk about academics. Talk about life. Um yeah, pay attention to health and hygiene. Let's just, you know, go, yay, look, it's amazing. Look at the exciting emergency services vehicles in the background, everybody. There's flashy lights, machines all over the place. Talk about life. Let's talk about life at this school. The audience feels calm. The atmosphere is plus five. Okay, so praise, tantrum, or apologize. Um, I mean, really, praise. Everyone looks absolutely fantastic, particularly the people who've got sort of blue and purple hair. That looks incredible. Uh, yeah, we shall praise you all. I'm pleased to see that everyone's been in a good mood lately, did that say, possibly? Um, and uh, Serene, let's strive for another week of positive vibes. Absolutely, there we go. Uh, we'll try that. It's up to 55. We're only on topic one right now. Can we start doing more topics? It's time to wrap up the speech. Heart gesture, loud cheer, solemn. We're doing the heart gesture. We love the heart gesture. Love you. <laughs> okay, up by 10. And 23 people are now serene. 23 people have got plus three satisfaction. That's quite good. That's about half the current intake, I think. That's pretty good. With the exams over, this batch of students is now ready for graduation. Oh, there we go. Ah, somebody did point this out in the comments, actually. They did say in the comments in the previous video, you do get a picture with the students who are graduating and leaving the school. Because, yeah, I kind of remarked that they're just gone without any kind of fanfare. But here we go. Let us take a group picture to commemorate our years together. Um, oh, my word. You can pick poses. Oh, this is amazing. Hang on a minute. Um, can we dance? <laughs> All the kids are sitting down and we're just... A oh, we can do a charming pose. We can show how agile we are. This is amazing. Okay, we can greet. We can be furious. <laughs> Blank, lazy. Um, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of dislocated knee pose. I don't know what's happening there. Open arms. I quite like that. I quite like that. That's kind of friendly. But, I mean, I do like the joyful. The joy. We're going for a joyful dance. And expression is going to be happy. Oh, yes. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, take a photo. <laughs> Do it now. That's amazing. Okay, are you satisfied with the pose and expression? Uh, who wouldn't be? Yeah, done. Absolutely. No feet lasts forever. Oh, no feast lasts forever. No matter where we or our students end up, we will always remember our days at dear old cupboard college. Oh, Miss Lynn, you'll bring a tear to my Goodbye, my friends. Good luck in the future, you lot. Come back. Come back and tell us how it was. Because, yeah, we're going to miss you. You were the first ones to the school and we need to know what happens with you in your lives. So there you go. Um, yeah, confirm that. That's a very wonderful. I mean, I've kind of been through that in real life. My son finished at primary school recently and we had all this kind of, all the sad things. Oh, farewell. You're never coming back here. And yeah, you're going to you know, new schools and new places, meeting new friends. So, you know, it's a big moment. It's a huge, big moment. So there we go. That was good. Life at the school carries on. At the moment... We've only got 15 out of the 46 students expected to pass, but they haven't started any learning yet. So I think that's quite good. I think that's pretty impressive. I'm not too fussed about that. Right, get time ticking on nice and quick. So that research is how near are we were there? 71%. So they're getting on with that, which is pretty good. Now, how are we looking in the shop? How are we looking in the shop? Um, hang on. Where's, uh, where's, where's our person? Where's Laura Hall? Where are you, Laura Hall? You don't appear to be in the shop. Or does the shop... Does it have opening times? Uh, I don't know. Does the shop have an opening time? Uh, we've made nothing from it so far. 
Um, it says it's open. I just don't know where she is. The cat's on the desk. There's Barbara the cat. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Um, oh, okay. Right. So there we go. Look, she's there. Look, this is wonderful. Right. So they can... Okay, she sort of teleported through the thing, but that's okay. She's washing her hands. Okay. Intermediate art course is done. Right. That's wonderful. So we've unlocked all these exciting... Oh, crikey. Coral singing zones and art storage racks and spare easels and arty things. Still life station. Oh my goodness. Okay, continue research, pause time, go to education. Um, yeah, get that one done then. Get intermediate sport course done. So I'll have that because I want to get these done before we start welcoming new people in. So that's going to be good. Ah, right, here we go. So uh, Billy Hall has arrived at the Old South Training Academy. Uh, which training program do we want to attend? I think we should go for that one. So that one's going to get uh, five points of training for five grand. That is ten points for ten grand. Or that is just free, but they only get one point, And that's not really going to help too much. So how about we do the big expensive one? It's, it's, yeah, it's very costly, but I think it's worth it. So boop. We will have that. There we go. The teachers and the dispatch team have started training. Thanks to school's funding for training, they will return to school on their own after completing the training. Right, so they're just going to make their way home when they're done, which is okay. And we do have that up there. Um, I think, if I remember this correctly, somebody pointed out that if we stack these up, so let's say if we leave that there, if we leave those 15 school level points there, and then we get that one complete as well. And that one, I think somebody in the comments said that we kind of get more out of it. If we leave them for a bit, if we have multiple ones waiting to be sort of cashed in, um, I think we get a multiplier. We kind of get a little modifier as to it. So, I mean, very soon we're going to get some more students in. So that will be done. And I think we're going to get more contribution points as well. So, do you know what? Yeah, let's, um, let's fly through and see if that is the case. Um, because, yeah, I do want to do that. Oh, okay. Hello. Lanka. Uh, oh, you're the one who did the thing. You made the game. You came here last time and said, hey, I want to make a game. We went, okay, and then you kind of vanished. Many thanks to the Headmaster for permitting me to seek inspiration from the school. I've gathered plenty of ideas. The game has been completed now, named Let School. Please remember to leave your review on Steam when you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a very cunning way of getting people to go and review the game. That's fine. Um, we will do, we'll do that later. That's fine. We'll go and do it in a bit because we're in the middle of doing this. Oh, the pandas sat on the shop. <laughs> Botherations. Okay. However, I think what happens is, so I don't quite know what her role here is. Apart from, uh, yeah, entertain the panda that comes along to sit on the uh, desk there. But, um, yeah, so she seemed to stand out there, but when she wasn't there, the kids were still able to buy things from this front counter. I imagine maybe she stocks the front counter. And if there's nobody there, then it can't be stocked and nobody can buy anything. Maybe that's why there has to be a person there. Uh, Virginia Scott's teaching has gone up. That's very good. We're going to see a lot of that, I think, soon. Because we did, at the end of the previous part, send a lot of people away for training. So that's good. But yeah, I think, I mean, can we see how much that's made? Can we see how much that's made? It's made 319 monies in in what half a day good grief and you know what now i expect it to make even more because um yeah it's going to go up to lunch break i imagine people are going to come over here and buy some stuff from the shop mislin's management goes up that is wonderful is that affecting anything over here no but i think did we not tell betty to do some training yeah betty is doing some training on oh she's doing ah yeah okay she can't do any... Um, oh, hang on a minute. Pause time. People are cold. Um, she can't do any uh, training on management because... Hang on a second. Where are you, Betty? Um, where are you, Betty? Betty, where are you? Are you a science person? Um, yeah, so she's got a potential of 35, but management of 40. So she can't increase that anymore unless we send her on the big expensive course as well, which I don't think we should do right now because that will leave us quite out of pocket. Can we get any new people in? Students, one hour. One hour's time. Okay, that's quite exciting. Um, however, lots of little I'm quite chilly marker things are appearing everywhere. We possibly do need to get that sorted. Also, what's that about that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so people are cold. Okay, yeah, it's 14.8 degrees. Okay, it, fresh. It's fresh. It's a little bit chilly. So, can we put some sort of 
heating things around. So furniture, temperature. So that is to keep everyone cool. Ah, we've got proper things now to keep people cool. We've got a ceiling fan rather than a big block of ice. Um, we've got a wall fan and we've got a coal burner. Okay, can be used on cold days to spread warm air. Well, it warms the place up. It's not that safe and it makes everyone sleepy. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> so how does this work exactly? How how does that... Do we need one coal burner per room? Because there are a thousand apiece. Um, or do we just put it kind of in the middle? If we put it there, what's what's that going to do? That's now going to do coal burning. But is that making... Is that warm? I don't want to touch it. No, okay, uh, disgusting. Hang on. There was a thing. Somebody's doing something over here. Um, Froggy Dash. Oh, hang on. This is new. We've not seen this before. This is... This isn't people playing games. What's Froggy Dash? A student brought a frog to school. Affects the normal class order. Assign a teacher. Uh, okay. <laughs> Betty, can you go and sort that out? People are chucking frogs at each other's faces, which admittedly is a bit weird. Um, yeah, how is that working with the rest of the classrooms? We can't spend a thousand monies on each individual classroom. Surely that's not how that works. Hang on, have we got like a temperature overlay? Is it in here somewhere? Um, it must be. There must be a temperature thing somewhere. How hot or cold is it all around here? Um, maybe there's not. Maybe there isn't one. There must be one. Hang on, I'm going to go through all of these. There must be a temperature thing. There's other ones. Why is there a temperature one? Okay, incredibly, there isn't a temperature overlay. There are many other overlays. There's one for snack provision, and there's one for cleanliness and everything else, but there isn't one for temperature. So I'm not entirely sure how that thing is going to work. Like, how far does it go? How far does it reach? It can be used on cold days to spread warm air. It warms a place up, but it's not safe. I mean, I can't afford to put one of those into every single room because that will bankrupt us. They're a thousand apiece. I can't afford to do that unless we just put another one around there and hope the heat just kind of sort of seeps into the classroom from outside there. Maybe it takes a while for it to warm up? I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing there, but I mean, that's that's quite bad, isn't it? That's going to be a whole lot of money. Um, yeah, you, things, become warmer. Everyone's very cold. Everyone's very cold. Sorry, everybody. We're trying to sort it out, but it seems really expensive. Um, okay, clean environment is important. That's good. I like that. That's important. Yes, you're correct. Um, can we get some more students in? Oh, nearly. Okay, do you know what? Move time on until that's done. Okay, pause time. Eight more people. Um, yeah, admit everybody. You're all fantastic. We think you're all amazing. Thank you again, Mudford. All available students have been admitted. Go down to here. Right, all of you lot, go into that class there. Right, so that class now has got in it uh, 18 out of 25 people. That is pretty good. Now, the only thing is, do we try and chance it and get the next lot in? Do we try and get the next lot in, which will be tomorrow? It won't be today because it's not going to be sort of refreshed. So they'll have an entire day less of learning. So they're less likely to pass their exams. But then they are going to be in our wonderful school for a good long time. So I'm not sure. But it would be quite good. It would be quite good. It'll bring us in some good money. There's snowmen. There are snowmen. Oh my goodness. Somebody's, somebody's made a masterpiece snowman outside. <laughs> that one there is just good. That's a good snowman. That is a masterpiece. Ingredients. Water. One carrot, twigs, and one hat. And a scarf. A scarf. And some rocks for eyes. Don't forget that. Oh, also, yeah, a few people did point this out. Um, yeah, the thing there's changed. That thing there is the Steam Review Milestone thing. That updates depending on real-life kind of Steam reviews, which is quite fun. I like that. So they've had 2,000 reviews, which is very nice. And um, also, yeah, that path is a bit of a mess. Some people did point that out in the comments as well. So I think... Um, yeah, hygiene-wise. Uh, oh, there's the umbrella stand. That hasn't always been there, has it? Uh, did we? I'm, I'm fairly certain I searched for um last time and that never came up. Was that a thing that we've just unlocked? Okay, right. There's an umbrella stand now. We're going to put that over here. We're, how expensive are they? A hundred. Okay, th that's fine. That's reasonable. We'll have that. So we'll have one there. 
and we'll have one there. And then, if we rotate it round, we'll have one there and one there. Right, four lots of umbrella stands. Plenty of umbrellas so people don't get all soggy and wet. But yeah, out here, look, it is getting a bit messy. So we could put we could put a couple of bins outside. That would be okay. I mean, that does make our fancy stone thingamajigs a bit less important. But how about, hang on, I've got an idea. What if we just put some lovely plant pot type things over there and then put the bins behind them? Yes, that's what we can do. So yeah, shrubberies. Uh, shrubberies or pink flower beds. We could have a mixture of both. A uh, fence is a bit boring. I don't really want a fence. That's not overly exciting. Environment. Uh, oh, no, that's just like floor stuff. Okay, outdoor pl oh, outdoor plants. Oh, they're the trees. No, okay, back to furniture we go. So, um, yeah, if we have just a number of little kind of... Sh oh, it can be... Ah, it turns into a big kind of long shrubbery, like plant bed type thing. Okay, that's good. But I quite like that. And then behind these, look, behind that, at the moment, it's not going to look good because it's winter. But when it's in full bloom, it's going to look wonderful. We could then have a bin and bin. And over there, we could have, rotate it round, a bin and a bin. And that might allow the outside bit to be a little bit tidier. That could be quite good. And then just because we are on a bit of a tidiness thing now, we could put a bin just there as well, just to make it nice. There we go. So hopefully that'll allow people to tidy up a little bit. That'll be quite nice. Uh, right. Okay, good stuff. Move time on. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, so let's look at this. So is that what the person meant when they said that 108, 14, 15? So yeah, somebody in the comments said you get a multiplier for something, but maybe it isn't that. Hang on, let me go and check what they said because I might have completely misunderstood what they're on about. But hang on a minute, let me go and look at that. I thought it was to do with this, but maybe, and it's highly likely, um, I've entirely misunderstood that. Hang on a minute, let me go and have a little check. Okay, I found the comment and I think we might be looking at the right bit. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might be this screen here. So the comment says, whenever you wait to unlock your contribution points, you'll see that there's a multiplication bonus on the points slash money you get. And on this screen, we do earn points and money. So it would make sense if it was this screen here. Finish three goals and you get times three on all goals you've succeeded. It's a more rewarding way to gain points and money. So it's got to this, but I think maybe we haven't completed our third goal. So we aren't seeing any kind of evidence of a modifier. So if we just pick up another handful of contribution points, which I imagine might happen by the end of the day, well, certainly on the next day, we'll get that done. We'll then see if we get multipliers on that. If not, it's another part of the game that I've completely forgotten about and I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. But I think it's got to be this bit here. So, okay, that's going to be fine. So let's run time on nice and quick. Let's see what we can do. Can we get our person also trained up? That would be quite good. Yeah, everybody's cold. People are cold. I've put the hot thingamajig over there, but people out here are still cold. I don't understand. We can't put one of those into every room. That's that's a nonsense. But yeah, people are not happy at all. Dripping wet and free. Yeah, people are so cold. But we can't afford to put... Hang on. They're going to spend most of their time in the classrooms, aren't they? So if we pop that into that classroom and that into that classroom and then we buy another one and... Hang on a minute. Temperature. Put that into that classroom. That does sort it out. That, that can't be the only way to heat things up. Because that's ridiculously expensive. You can't spend a thousand monies on putting a coal burner into every room in the entire school. That's, that's a massive amount of money. Yeah, the researchers are cold. They're not working properly. Um, do you know what? Pop that into there and make them warm so they can do their thing. But that's really expensive. Surely that can't be right. That can't be what we have to do. But okay, at least when they go in there, they can be nice and warm. We've completed the junior sports, no, the intermediate sports course, sorry. Um, okay, so continue research. Do that one. Do that thing there, the art and sport morning session. So they can have vocal practice or a morning jog. That sounds quite horrific, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like to do a morning jog. School satisfaction increased to medium. Right, okay, so now they're back in the warm. They are feeling a little bit better. Oh no, but look, they're getting sleepy. Wake up. 
way curvy. <laughs> I mean, I, is it just because it's toasty and warm in there now? Or is something coming out of these coal burner things, yeah, it's some sort of noxious gas that's just knocking them out a bit? I'm not entirely sure. Oh dear. Okay, right. Run time on. There we go. How we're looking for that. 264 of those. Yeah, so we will get there in time. We're not going to get there by the end of the day, I do not think. Uh, but yeah, the money's looking okay. Headmaster, it's gotten pretty chilly outside lately. My sweet potato roaster is just sitting there collecting dust. If you want, you can have it. There's some yummy roasted sweet potatoes in there. Let the kids try them out. Okay, so we've now unlocked roast sweet potatoes. Did we not have some of them already? I think we already have some of those. Oh, hang on. Where's all our other stuff gone? Didn't we have drinks and all sorts? Maybe they don't... Maybe the drinks. Maybe that doesn't carry on sort of across the years. Uh, across the terms. Oh, okay. I thought we kept all that stuff, but never mind. Uh, yeah, we do possibly need to get our cafeteria in at some point because um, yeah, at the moment, people have to come outside to get food and it's a bit cold outside. Ah, there we go. Right, so Billy Hall has now got a proficiency. Um, so whatever that thing is, a, a glasses number of 34, uh, which means they can be trained up to 34 in all of their skills. So now what we can do is... We can get them and a new training plan. So, uh, yeah, where are they? So, Billy Hall, the Bee House Office Director, they can now do management proficiency, 21 up to 26, which means they're better at managing things. 830 monies, it's worth doing, I think, like that, because yet at the moment, Bee House Office is on 45 out of 46 management points. So, that's pushing it. I mean, the infirmary is assigned there because it can't go anywhere else. I think we have to get another... We need to get another management office in. We need to get one of those in and just assign random rooms to it. All things aren't to do with teaching or whatever. I think we should do that. Uh, okay, right. That might be a little bit complicated. Where could we put that? Uh, oh, they've done the thing. They've done the Art and Sport morning session already. Well done, research team. Uh, so all the education stuff is done. So we've got lifestyle, hygiene, cleaning. Okay, ah, this is like better stuff. So rubbish bins, hand dryers, cleaning rosters, proper toilet cubicle things, that's good. Or management, superior teaching. Superior teaching does sound like quite a good thing to have, doesn't it? Let's unlock the secrets of that, shall we? We have unlocked advanced research. Now, a few people, again in the comments, thank you commenting people, did say that when we get a new research thing, we should go and check what it gives us because it can give us upgrades to things. So, for example, on advanced research, we can now get a proper senior chief researcher's desk, advanced planning boards, advanced research desk, and advanced research filing cabinets, which means that they're more likely to do research better. So is it worth having a little look in here and just replacing some old stuff with some new stuff? Could we do that? So a senior chief researcher's desk. Um, okay, hang on. We can't put one in. Why can't we put one in there? Research seats, three. So we've got research filing. And we've got, what's that? Is that what that is? That's what that is. But then we've got advanced research filing cabinets. So can we, uh, how do we sell some of these bits? How do we sell, for example, that? How do we make that go away? I don't want that anymore. So do we press demolish? So do we click on that? So hang on, 8532. That goes, okay, that goes up a bit. Right, so do that. It's going to lose points on things, but that's okay. Um, and okay, come out of demolish and put an advanced filing cabinet in. So one there, and we'll put another one in. <laughs> hang on, what does that do? Plus seven and plus five plus 20 and plus 10. Okay, they're much better, but they're really expensive. Okay, that's fine. Research schedule board, we've already got in. I think that's one of those. Um, advanced planning board. Ah, okay, right. So get rid of the little planning board and then put in the advanced planning board because we have to have a planning board. So pop that in. Uh, why can't we put it there? Uh, oh, because there's a plant. Hang on a second. Move the plant into the... Hang on, that's in the way of the thing now. That's in the way of the other thing. Uh, put it there, look. That's quite nice. Look, a little plant next to your desk. That'll be lovely. Uh, right, now get that in. So pop that there. Okay, we are spending a bit more money than I would like. 
Uh, and then, yeah, it's a case of the senior researcher desk. So it goes, yes, we need to... Hmm, they're all working on things at the minute. They're all doing stuff. Uh, we could put that uh, on the wall there, just for something to do. There we go. Right, okay that for now. When they finish that research, when they've done superior teaching, we will not assign any more research to them, and then they can... we'll replace their desks, and they can do more research in the future. Okay, that's fine. Right, so run time on nice and quick. Um, how are we looking for that? 264, okie doke, never mind. Right, I think... It says, oh, hang on, Anne Lee's course is done. Yep, that's all very good. More management, this is very good. School satisfaction increased to high. That's also pretty good. We like that as well. Uh, okay, right, so everyone's going to go home. Let's come back in the morning and see what we get up to. Oh, no, I think the snowmen are melting. They kind of shrank a bit in size. That one is, yeah, it's melting. Oh, no, sad times for the snowmen. Oh, dear me. Okay, yeah, the snowmen are melting, which isn't a great surprise because, you know, that's kind of how that works. Although it is quite cold, so I'm surprised that that's happening. But okay, how are we doing in terms of teaching? 26 out of the 54 students are expected to pass our exams, and we've only just begun the second day. That is very good. I'm very happy about that. And I think what we might do today is... I think I do want to send some people out and about again. So the year twos have never been out, have they? Because they were the year ones last year, and we tend to not send them out. Uh, Betty Cupboard's got better at training, uh, teaching, sorry, that's really good. Um, yeah, we tend to not send the year ones out. So the year twos, that they were year ones, now the year twos, or whatever, uh, grade twos, they are now do a little sort of field trip out. But then, also, hang on, go to here. We have got that kind of thing over here, the square. A public square where the locals love to hang out and special events may take place. The school can host a variety of events here to earn subject-specific contribution points. I think, for fun, let's send Class 3 out on that. Class 3, you can go out to the square and have a fun time. That sounds like a lovely thing to do. So dispatch them out to do that. That's going to be exciting. And have we got any more students? One hour one hour until we get some more students coming in. Okay, or potentially some more kind of ready to be uh, part of the intake. So we'll see what that does. Is that going to help with that? Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, right, there we go. Five more. Five more. You're feeling a bit sleepy. Wake you up. Wakey, wakey. Um, do we take on five more? That means we're going to be on 23 out of 25. I think... Can Ms. Lynn cope with that many? Can she cope with that many? Like, I can't... I don't know how many she can deal with. It says 25 there. So her management is 25. Uh, she, <laughs> her satisfaction is going up because she's having joy from snacking. <laughs> she's enjoying the spicy snacks, which is good. Um, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if she can cope with that many. Um, can we recruit them on a one-by-one -one basis? Can we do that? Uh, yeah, so admit... Oh, hang on. You're a good student. So we'll have you. We'll have Dorothy Davis. That's a very exciting name. So you can come in. Okay, and then go to there and assign you to that class. So, okay, that's still fine. That's okay. No warning things. She's not struggling. Can we see what it actually... What the things are like? Uh, 19 out of 30. I think that's going to be fine. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 19 class members. Is that how many there are now? Yeah, so you have a point for each class member. So if we get another, what's that, four in, that's going to be, uh, hang on, go back to there. That's going to be on 23 out of 30. Yeah, Mizzelin can cope. Absolutely fantabulous. Yeah, we'll admit everybody. And um, yeah, assign all you lot to there. You might struggle a bit to begin with because you're missing an entire day of learning, but never mind, that's okay. And uh, yeah, we could... We're not going to get that done this year, but we'll get that done next time. Um, okay, never mind. Right, so run time on nice and quick. We'll see what happens with that field trip. And then when they're done, oh, hang on a minute, you lot are now being a bit of a nuisance. You're being sleepy. Okay. Um, yeah, when they're done and back, I think tomorrow we'll send the other ones out on a regular field trip. A little kind of exploratory one to uncover a bit more of the map. But yeah, okay, right. Run time on. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a second, what's going on? Not enough drinking water. 
the women's uh, toilet facilities are not good enough and not enough food. 57 out of 58 build a food tent or a cafeteria. Bother. Okay. This is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, drinking. Oh, hang on. Not enough drinking water. Build facility to resolve tea room. We can sort that out. We can put things into the tea room. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, we need things that provide water. Like a water station. That might go quite well. That's a bit bland, isn't it? <laughs> That's just like a water cooler thing. That's incredibly dull. Um, no, have a hot water station. Have one of those. Um, I think. Where can we put that, though? Where can we put... Oh, there's, there's all these things. Right. We might have to remove that from the tea room. We might need to put that... How about I put the love mailbox over there? That's quite fun. So that can go there. And that frees up a bit of room there. So we can spend 300 monies on putting another hot water station just there. That sorts our water woes out. That's pretty good. Okay, that's that remedied. Because yeah, I think we've never had... Have we had 59 students in before? I don't think so. Um, how are we doing in terms of research? Did we get the... Uh, oh yeah, look. The fancy hygiene stuff would have probably been quite good. That would have been quite useful. Uh, we can always stop what we're doing and come back to it. So I think, Joe, we'll change that round. So at the moment, we might have a little bit of a problem with that. So I think we need to run time on. Yeah, there's not enough toilet facilities for the female students. Okay, right. That's a bit of an issue. But if Research Squad unlock that thing, that's going to be good. Then we can start upgrading the things in the toilets. And then if we can just get six more contribution points, then we might see some sort of exciting multiplier thing to our money and points and everything else down there. So I'm kind of banking on that being a thing that we get. I really hope that is a thing we can get. How far away is is this thing they're going to? Because we did send them quite early. Are they going to be done by the end of the day? <laughs> Good grief. Okay, yeah, that park thing is really, really, really far away, you lot are all snoozing. Wake up, you sleepy lot. There you go. Yeah, the weather isn't great around here. Umbrellas for everybody. Oh, the, the umbrellas are amazing. The see-through ones, that's the best one. That rainbow umbrella is fantastic. I gladly have one of those. Um, I green, you know, classic, classic, just, you know, single plain colour umbrella, that's okay. A dark green one there, but no, the rainbow one is the best one. That is absolutely wonderful. I want one of those, please. Right, okay, run time on, nice and quick. Um, Billy Hall's training is complete. Ah, good. So does that mean, hang on, go to management, there is now a little bit more capacity over in B House office. Okay, so could we take something away from them? Could we, say, remove the playground from the headmaster for now, put it down into here? So 50 out of 51, 65 out of 70 for the headmaster's office. Okay, that sort of helped out a little bit. That's not too bad. Right, we're going to run time on until either... Oh, no, there we go. That's not... Oh, no, there we go. Look, th hang on. Is it 39? I can't see any modifiers. Okay, maybe that wasn't... Maybe this isn't what that person was referring to. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was what they were referring to. But no, I don't think that's the case. Because that is not looking like it's giving us any modifiers. That was what that was doing before, wasn't it? 108, 40. There's no kind of thing saying we're getting times three or anything. Or am I really missing something? Okay, uh, right. Person who left that comment, I'm really sorry, but I'm not entirely sure what you are referring to. I can't quite work it out. But do you know what? We'll have all these. I mean, that's on 39, I think, because um, we completed other research, didn't we? So we'll have that. Um, maybe, it, well, maybe it did give us a modifier, because now it's 15. Why would it be on 39? 100 for that, and 150 for that. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, that's flown through to there. That's not too shabby at all. But, um, okay, now we've got some money. So let's wait for them to complete that research. They're about, what, two-thirds of the way through? or oh, 57%, just over halfway. So, um, okay, who's going to be first? Are the research is going to be done first? Or are the um, sort of, you know, team going out to the town square going to get there first? 
because they're taking their merry old time. They're taking a very long time to just walk over to a bit of town. But there we go. Who is going to win the race? And it's Research Squad. Research Squad have done it by an absolute country mile. Look at that. They've completed it. And these guys are nowhere even near at the place where they're supposed to be going. So, okay, good stuff. Right, continue research. Pause time. Um, That's all that done. That is everything we can do in lifestyle. So now down to management, go to superior teaching. And we've done a bit of that already. That's very good. I think we might need to do some replacements in here. So let's make our bathrooms a little bit better, shall we? So let's go into the ladies one because we've got to sort that out because that's not good enough anymore. So that thing there, the cubicle squat toilet. Uh, oh, is that what they are? Oh, Oh, yeah, that. No, I don't like that. A cubicle toilet. Can we do that? Oh, you can just upgrade them right over the existing ones. That's marvellous. Um, yeah, that's... Okay, these have got actual toilets in. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to have that. So that one is plus six toilet services. That one is plus 12. Okay, it's three times the price, but it gives you more sort of uh, facility score as well. And yeah, it's just better. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll have... We'll have all of those. Drop all of those in. There is somebody on that toilet right now. They're going to be in for a very unpleasant surprise, I imagine, because we're going to upgrade the toilet that they're sitting on right now. So as if by magic, boom. <laughs> oh, no, the door's open. <laughs> we're not looking. We're not looking. We're looking away. It's fine. But yeah, look at that. That is now plenty of toilet facility for the amount of students we've got. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then the sinks. The sinks, oh, hang on. The sinks are now entirely massive. And we have hand dryers. Oh, okay. Right, so what we do is, hang on. Uh, we haven't even got, the old sinks have gone, I think. Are they on high, ah, there. So it's just a simple sink. So that gives us plus six sort of cleanliness washing and one prettification point. If we go to there, that is 18 washing eight aesthetics and two prettification points. Okay, so get rid of that and that and that. I've got a bit of a plan here. Put that in like that, up 23 out of 30, and now we've got lots of hand washing going on. And we can put the hand dryer in now because there is a gap right there to put a hand dryer on the wall. Oh, that's much better. Okay, yes, absolutely fantastic. We will have that. Is that... We'll do the same for the the, um, the boys' toilets in a second. Was that what that upgraded then? Um, where was it? Uh, lifestyle hygiene cleaning. So uh, cleaning supplies cabinet. Sink, cubicle toilet, hand dryer, cleaning roster, rubbish bin, and a cleaning supplies cabinet. How do, what's that about then? Oh, there's a new class. I just saw there's a new class there. Is that a thing we can now add into here? A cleaning supplies cabinet if we send them out cleaning? Um, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I, I don't know where that is. Okay, never mind. We're just going to, oh, hang on. Yeah, ignore that. Nothing happened. Yeah, all I did is nothing changed. So everything is fine. As you were, that's all good. Right, let's make the same changes that we made in the ladies' lose over to the uh, to the gents' lose. Let's go and get that done. There we go. Magnificent. And look at that up there. We've got so much toilet service provided now. Look at that 84 out of the 29 that's required. That's a lot of toilet service. Well done, everybody. It's very toilety. Wonderful. So that's that done. And we've still got 9,200 left. So I think, given that we now do have a little bit of a food issue, is it worth potentially trying to get a cafeteria in. I completely forgot that we weren't going to... We we're going to tell them not to do something, weren't we? And upgrade their desks and things. Well, that might be quite costly. Um, also, I want to upgrade these as well. Hang on. Go to buildings. I want to get brickwork around the place because I don't like the fact that we have kind of wooden stuff. That classroom is currently empty. Can we do that around it? Is that okay? Was that... Hang on, I didn't see how much that was. Cancel that edit. How much was that? Um, I didn't see how much it was. So it's, two, it's 250 per square. So 9-2 down to 6-2. Crikey. Okay. Maybe while they're not in that classroom, let's do it. Let's just spend a bit of money and get that done. Okay, right. So that might... That's going to change to... I mean, it's good. It's good that we're doing it. It's going to change to a proper 
actual nice brick classroom, which is a bit less you know, set on fire risky. That's okay. So they're just going to work on that. I mean, yeah, I assume... When are we going to do this for the rest of the building? Because I want to get the rest of the building done eventually. I would like to get that done. Two more student applications. Is it worth taking them on board? Is it worth taking them? Wake you up. Wakey, wakey. Come on. We're on... What are we on in there? 23 out of 25. I think Ms. Lim can cope with the other two. She can definitely cope. So do we take two more on? Uh, do you know what? Yeah, yes, we do. That's what we do. Everybody has now been admitted. 61 students in your pop. Wonderful. Right. Okay, so now they are going to be very behind in terms of learning, but they can kind of pick up as the as the year goes on and as the years go by as well. Right, that's now been upgraded. Fancy brick kind of uh, foundations going on. Can't really tell really apart from the outside bit, but there we go. So that's quite good. And we're coming up to 10 grand. We're making a decent amount of money from that over there and our little shop as well. How much is the shop making out of interest? How much did you make? Oh, Susan Turner's training is done. Well done, Susan. Um, That made... What? 2,000 monies? <laughs> did it really? My goodness. I am... I'm astonished. My flabber is well and truly gasted. That's incredible. I mean, we are paying out quite a lot in wages. Oh, hang on a minute. They're finally there. The square is bustling with activity right now at 7 o'clock in the morning. What kind of event should we host? Riddles? Mental math? Sketching or ring toss? Okay, not sketching, not ring toss, because they're to do with that's an art one and that's sport, and we don't care about that. So either science or riddles. Okay, so that's for humanities, that's for science. I mean, they do struggle with humanities. A lot of them do have the forgetful trait. A lot of the kids from Mudford do have forgetful, which I think affects their learning of humanities doesn't it so maybe they need a little bit of a help with humanities contribution points plus 20 satisfaction plus 20 okay so if we go riddles after all that work the stalls are ready let's start the activity okay so we're are we putting on a concert or something what's going on okay confirm that so they're now doing their thing which is good we are a bit low on food stuff still. A little bit concerned about that. Also, what's that? Oh, yeah, new course. Uh, we've got vocal practice and morning jogs. We've got clean up, sweep the floors and clear the trash. Do you know what? That might be worth doing. Maybe on a Friday. Hang on. So on a Friday morning, you, instead of having your class meeting, you can do a bit of clean up. I quite like the sound of that. So the year ones can do some clean up. That'd be quite good. And then, okay, hang on. Do they replace? No. Okay, so they're just the morning sessions. Okay, I don't want to replace any of our learning courses with these kind of things. Um, so, okay, class two one, you can, you, you can all, on Friday morning, you can all go and do some cleaning. I think that's worth it. Oh, and look. Right. Okay. The year threes might be struggling a bit because we haven't got a biology lab to teach the fancy science stuff in. Okay, that's probably not great either is it okay never mind um but we do have some stuff here do we we're not going to get that topped up let's just take that we'll take 15 of those points right now thank you very much um is that that's everyone coming in for a new day apart from these guys okay what i'd like to do is i'd like to run time on until that is now done but can we send another load of people out can we send somebody out to say over there we can't dispatch more teams. Okay, right. Well, I'd like to get the these guys sent out. I'd like to get the year twos going out on their fun field trip. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for the year threes or grade threes or whatever to finish whatever it is that they're doing. Complete their little concert show thing, magic, whatever it is. And then when they're back, we'll send the grade twoers out on their fun trip. Oh, the fancy teaching research is done. Increases the classroom star level more easily. We've got proper teaching equipment. A normal blackboard. Oh, happy days. Just a regular, ordinary blackboard. No longer do we have to put up with these substandard blackboards. And then we've got a normal podium, normal desks, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I don't think we can do that right now. I don't think that's a thing we can do right now. So continue researching something else 
though I'm not entirely sure we have anything else. Is there anything else? Uh, oh yeah, there's a few things in here, look. Um, emergency drills or bicycle shed. Joe, uh, do the bicycle shed. We'll get that and the drills done. And then after that, maybe, before we dive into the school reform 2 stuff, possibly then we could upgrade their little room and give them proper desks and things. That might be quite good. There we go, wonderful. Right, run time on nice and quick. Let's get these guys finished doing whatever it is they're doing out in the town square. Oh my goodness me, a fairy has just come out of a well. What is happening? Spirit of the well, what a young headmaster you are. Hello, spirit of the well. Uh, you look nice. You look nice. You're not here to cause problems. You look jolly and happy and very lovely and wonderful. Um... But this is very unexpected. Um, I am the spirit of the well. Evidently so, because you just kind of rose out of a well and it says spirit of the well. Did you drop something in the well? Uh, not that I was aware of. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. Now there's a floaty student. Is it the student who is brilliant to the extreme and shines gold? Is it the student who is deeply knowledgeable and shines silver? Who is the unlucky person who fell into the well? Gold, silver or neither what is going on are we gonna get some fancy student oh should i be honest maybe this is some sort of test because no well i'm not i'm aware that nobody has fallen into the well neither's fallen into the well but are we gonna do ourselves out of a fancy student of some kind so the gold one or the silver one or, i'm gonna be honest this might be really boring and it might possibly cost us i don't know some really super amazing student but no, nobody, nobody fell into the well. I'm going to be honest with you, well fairy. Nobody fell into the well that I am aware of, neither. Okay, neither? Hmm. Okay, you're okay. You're a very honest headmaster. Yes, that's what I was going for. Honesty, honesty is good. In this case, both of these brats who shine gold and silver respectively, they're yours. What? <laughs> Hang on, what? I can't cope with two more people. May we meet again. Farewell. Hang on, now I'm confused. So two people fell down the well, although I don't know when that happened. Oh, they've completed some bicycle uh, bike shed research. Okay, that's good. Pause time in the background. We've got two more students. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, do emergency drills. Do that, please. Um, uh, we'll have those points for that. That's wonderful. Um, right. Two students not assigned to a class. They cannot join class one because there it's full. It's full. Oh no. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do? Do we just chuck another couple of desks in? And then oh, that means we have to have them all the way through the next couple of years as well. Oh, this is a big nuisance. Okay. They fell into a well. So what we're going to do is, hang on a minute, this is very silly. Oh, do you know, we'll give them some normal desks, though. They can have normal desks, aren't they lucky? Uh, they can sit right in front of the teacher. There you go, right in front. Look at that. No, there's no there's no messing around there. Look, you have to go and sit there, you two. Go there. Go there. Put you into that class. I think Ms. Lynn can cope with that. So that class is okay. Right. <laughs> That was <laughs> that was a bit weird. That was very strange. I mean, yeah, there is a well. There is a well over there. But it just says, take care not to fall into it. Um, oh, are you one of the ones that came out of the well? Right. That was odd, I will admit. That was really strange. But right, that's fine. Okay, let's again run time on very quickly and try and get those a lot finished over at the town square because they've been gone for days. They've been gone for so long. I, I don't know where they are now. I don't know if they're ever coming back. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they are going to finish up soon. They've been gone so long. They've been gone for such a long time. I want to send these guys out. It's going to be almost out of time for the year two to go and do their fun field trip. Come on, you lot. End of the event, finally. Both adults and children are actually participating in the event, all with big smiles on their faces. That's good. So the dispatch team have returned item unlocked. A health and hygiene magazine. Oh, okay, lovely. Uh, so humanity's contribution points plus 20. And 17 of them are happy. 17 kids went away happy. Plus 20 satisfaction. Is all we got? 20 humanities points. 
They've been gone for ages. <laughs> They've been gone for so long. Okay. Uh, right, hang on. No, wrong. Button, can we now send the other ones out? Can we send the year twos out? You go out there, please. Have a fun trip out to this part of the world. We don't know what's there. You can go and explore and it shall be all very exciting indeed. Uh, right, we do need to get a cafeteria in. You're messing around. Don't do that. That's a bit naughty. Stop being a pain. Uh, yes, we are getting hungry people now, which is affecting our satisfaction, I imagine. Yeah, hungry. Two people are hungry. Four people are a bit cold, which I suppose might make sense if they've just come from the outside. I suppose that would kind of work. Um, right, okay, this is fine. So I think now the next big thing we have to do is get a cafeteria. Now where that's going to go, I am not entirely sure. Possibly, could we expand that out over there and have the cafeteria opposite that? Although, hang on, we can't have a cafeteria because we haven't got enough management points. We need another little management office thing. So possibly... We have to expand that out there. We got... Oh, there's a shrubbery thing there. That's nice. Okay, has that always been there? Did I put that there? I don't recall. We might need to get another one of those offices in. Um, I mean, that is quite big. It's quite big, that office. For what it needs to do, it's a very big room. But okay, that's fine. You get kind of points for it, look. You get points for the spacing. In fact, 30 is just right, it says. So that's actually quite good. So I think... We get another one of those in. Hang on, let's just get that initial bit done because I'll forget otherwise. We have to get another one of those in and then have somebody running it and then give them control of lots of things like the tea room and the toilets and all that kind of stuff. I think that's what we have to do. So if we just bring that down like that, that's two grand uh, of brickwork stuff. That's okay. How expensive would it be to get a little bit more done? Would it? No, that's too expensive. Okay, for now... Just do that. Run time on. Right, the year two's grade twos have gone out. Is the panda going with them? I think the oh no, the panda's not going with them. The panda's having to lie down outside. That's fine. You're being a nuisance. Please stop it. Yep, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. Another pet is coming to join us. <laughs> we'll have more pets and people. So the cat is cute. Shall we keep it? Uh, darling the cat. Um, no, let's call it tea bag <laughs> there we go that name just popped into my head there you go tea bag hello tea bag the cat um, i just want to get that bit done i want to get that bit finished and then i think we'll wrap things up because we have done quite a lot we've done many things so if we just finish that bit over there okay splendid right pause time we will have we're not likely to get any more of these are we not likely to do that we're not going to get another four people and one and a half grand right now is quite a lot of money. So do you know what? Yes, we will have that. That we're looking, we're looking pretty good to become an average school. Oh, the goal of being average is exciting. So we could do that. But yeah, I think next time uh, we'll finish up for now. And then next time when we come back, we'll put another little management office there. And then we'll give that a name. That's not going to manage classrooms. That's going to be kind of like a facilities office. So that can manage the toilets and the shop and other bits and bobs as well. And then hopefully take the burden away from the headmaster and the bee house place. I think that could be quite good. But there we go. We'll do that next time. Hang on a minute. We can we can get some get some free money from this. There's stuff. There's clutter lying around. Why haven't we decluttered that? Is there any other clutter? Uh yes, there is. Hang on, why have we not done this before? Hang on a second. Go to destroy mode. Have that. Have all of that stuff. Okay, right. I like that. Free money is good. We like the free money. I think that's it. But do you know what? That's okay. Free money is good. So, right, there we go. We will finish up for now. Hang on. We're going to tell you off. Reprimand you. Stop being silly. There we go. Now we'll wrap things up. Come back next time. Try and do some more management stuff. Build ourselves a cafeteria. And then see where we go from there. But yeah, we'll finish up for now. Do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever. Because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello, robot. And I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people, 
Still hungry people, still sick people. Okay, if you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop. 